Hello all, welcome to my channel. In the previous video of PLSQL, we talked about how to create the procedure to insert the record in specific table. Now today, I will demonstrate you how to create the procedure to update the record of employee. So let's start with the same. First of all, I just want to check my data. So I'm just writing here, select star from employees. In this table, there are 16 records are there. Now, I want to update the designation of the employee. That is, for example, Anand, I want to change the designation based on the given employee number. So how to create the procedure for the same? Let me write the procedure. So I'm just moving to .sql file. Now here, I'm just creating a procedure. Create or replace procedure. And the name of the procedure, I'm just writing the name of the procedure is update employees. Now here, inside the bracket, you can just provide the parameter. I want to update designation of the employee based on the given employee number. So I'm just taking two parameters over here. That is parameter employee number. The data type of the employee number is as the same as the column available in employees dot employee number percentage type and then i just want to get the designation that you want to change so i'm just taking one more parameter that is parameter job data type is employees dot job percentage type now here you can write the as keyword you can begin the block of the procedure and you can end up with the procedure now here I just want to update the employees. So I'm just writing here update employees. Now I want to set the designation of the employee. So I'm just writing here set job is equal to parameter job where employee number is equal to parameter employee number. And after that, you can just commit and then you can simply write dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and here you can just give the message that record updated successfully and here you can just write semicolon now whenever you run this for example let me copy this particular code and i'm just pasting over here in sql so here you can just paste and your procedure will be created once your procedure is created now you can execute the procedure for example i just want to get the data first so i'm just writing here select star from employees so these are the 16 records now i want to update the record of anand so employee number is four time one and the designation is professor i just want to make the changes into this designation so how we can do this so it is very simple you can just write execute update employees here you can just provide the employee number for example four time one and new designation you can provide over here new designation is that is teacher so i'm just copying this and here you can paste and it will give you a message plsql procedure successfully completed but message of record updated successfully is not coming here just because we need to set the server output on so you can just write set server output on and then you can simply execute the same you will get the message record updated successfully and now you can check your data select star from employees and you will be able to see that the record of anand is updated with the new designation and now it is teacher suppose if you think that sir i just want to change the designation of another employee for example if i am changing here and that is triple one two and i want to make the vavik as a president so i'm just writing here president you can just copy this and you can run record updated successfully and you can check vavik new designation is changed with the president but what if the record is not found for example if user pass a number and the number is for example triple one three this number is not available and if you run this then still you are getting the message over here that is record updated successfully why because update statement will be executed and whenever update is executed record is not available then it will not update the data 
but simply it will not give you any error also. So whenever you check your data, there is no record of 3113. For example, select star from employees, you will not able to get the 3113 over here. So if the record is not found, then I want to get the message that the record is not found. So what to do in this particular case? So very simple, here you can just declare one variable. So I'm just declaring here variable count integer column is equal to zero. So it is initialized with the zero. Then here you can just write select count star. That is the total number of records into variable count from employees where employee number is equal to parameter employee number. So if the record is available, then the counter will be different than the zero, right? So here we can write the condition and the condition will be what? If variable count that is greater than zero, then I just want to update the data and I just want to give the message that is record updated successfully. If variable count is not greater than zero, it means the variable count is equal to zero. In the else case, you can just give the message that dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and you can give the message that record not found. You can put the semicolon over here and you can write and if. Now you can rerun this particular procedure. So you can just paste over here, your procedure will be created. Once your procedure is created, now you can update the data. For example, let me run here. That is select star from employees. Now I want to change the designation of the para. It is right now clerk and I want to make him here secretary, right? So the employee number is 7369. So I'm just updating the record. So I'm just writing here execute and the name of the procedure that is update employees. Then you can provide the employee number 7369 and here you can provide the designation for example secretary and here you can just run record updated successfully. Now you can check the data the designation of the parag is changed right but if the number is not available for example let me run here and I am providing the number that is 7368 it is not available at all then the message will be there and that is record not found. If you run here, if you run here and if you provide here that is triple one three, then it will give you a message record not found. So if the record is not available, then it will give me a message record not found. And if the record is available, then it will change the designation with the provided designation. So this is the way you can create the procedure to update the records in PLSQL. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.